A grade eight is just a little harder bolt. This is uh, in theory, uh, you've got four bolts um, kind of holding the motor against the adapter and that's your, your torque is gonna be in that direction. And uh, the bolts aren't that much more expensive. Uh, they're more expensive. I guess regular bolts a quarter, uh, grade eight's a buck. What is it? I am probably not even that, yeah. 40 cents. Maybe a few, few cents more. And since we have four extra holes, we can uh, run our cable out through one of them. Do you think we need to put a uh, like a quarter inch and a washer in the other one so we don't get weather in there? Yeah, probably want to plug them up a little bit. Plug yeah, yeah, we'll do something in there. And then we'll do this with silicon. Yeah. And so let's show them the rest of the process. What do you got there? Well, we've got the spacer, and this is the 3 8 inch spacer that comes with the 9-inch uh, the, uh, uh, net gain motor. Mm -hmm. So this just slides right over the shaft, and that'll, that'll put everything in the proper geometry mm -hmm. when we put on the, uh, uh, the taper lock. And the hub, which is where we're going to actually mount the stock VW flywheel, this is just a, mm -hmm. a stock 4-dowel, 200-millimeter, uh, 12-volt VW flywheel. Uh, that's actually out at the balancing shop right now that'll go on the end of this. So this is interesting. We didn't have to invent all this. This comes in a kit. Um, comes with the adapter, 875, 850? Yes. This is a taper lock hub. It uses the key uh, that goes on the motor shaft, and, uh, and it goes on there, but it's also got some, uh, um, are these threaded? Yep, there are yeah, three they're... threaded holes in it and there's three holes in this nicely machined steel um, uh, flywheel hub and if you notice uh, this is a uh, tapered that's why they call it a taper lock there you go <laughs> the outside is tapered uh, the inside of this isn't no and so if we put this on here um, if we could squeeze these together this would fit down over that and squeeze that taper and it's split of course here and that would uh, compress it on that on shaft. shaft. So the key way we're gonna use to line it up but that's not what's gonna hold this shaft in position. By taking three bolts and compressing this sandwich, we're, and I don't wanna do this with my fingers because you get it stuck and it's hard to get and back that's out. It. Yeah. But, uh, it will drive this down to here, and that will compress that tapered uh, taper lock. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> ergo. Well, ergo how else name. do we explain it? <laughs> right. uh, you, no, you, you explain another, it another name for you the taper lock. Well, what would you, how would you describe a taper lock? <laughs> when, when we uh, you know drive the taper into there. It compresses the ring around the shaft and it gives us a great lock on it. Right. And this is all machine part of the kit. You got a little uh, set screw to uh, kind of set it on the keyway. And that's mostly an alignment thing, get it all lined mm -hmm. up, squared up. And then we stick this on, put three bolts, same uh, sort of rotation around the thing a little bit at a time yeah. so you don't get it cocked or anything. You want it to draw straight down on there. Uh, this is labeled a VW 9-inch. I don't suppose we have a 9-inch uh, uh, flywheel, do we? No, we have a 200 millimeter, I think. 5,003. That's about 9 inches, Brian. That's about 9 inches. Oh, there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then your gland yeah, right. goes on there. So let's uh, stick this on with our key and our set screw. And... Uh, See how that all goes together. Turns that shaft rotation. Okay. Is that all there is to that? That's all there is to that. And, and then we've got a stick a set screw in there. Yeah, and it looks like we've got a small set screw. This is it looks like I think it's a one eighth inch. Uh, Alan. Uh-huh.
When Professor Ferdinand Porsche presented his first car in 1900 at the World Fair in Paris, everyone was astounded. An electric drive, two wheel hub motors. On the one hand, it was a sensation, but on the other, people quickly agreed, it won't work. Too bold, too fast, 50 kilometers per hour, it'll send the horses crazy. And now, it was bound to happen. The assignment, do everything differently, differently than expected. Do whatever you will, but don't touch that Porsche crest. Result? Concept study Porsche 918 Spider High Performance Hybrid. The design, more Porsche than ever. To turn in fabulous times on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Economically driven, at about 3 liters per 100 kilometers and with CO2 levels of about 70 grams per kilometer. A contradiction? Not at all. We call it Porsche Intelligent Performance. That should do it. I think okay, we've got that right. taper lock drawn out there uh, nice and even. We ran into another little problem with these hex bolts. Uh, for some reason, they were just a little bit too long and went all the way to the face of the motor. So brings, uh, <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> what did you take off? Oh, about five, three inch, quarter inch? Yeah, quarter inch, three, you know, three eighths. We cut off the end with a hacksaw and put them back in and now they just snug up and they don't really even come through that uh, uh, taper lock hub. And that looks pretty good, Brain. What do you think? I think we got it. I think the uh, couple modifications, I mean, it is, you know, a drop in, but it's not precisely. It's, it's close, but a little modification is, can't hurt. Okay. Here's my West Tax uh, module. We'll tighten that up and adjust it. What we're gonna do, this uh, has three wires. Red, black, green. Uh, black goes to ground. Um, red goes to uh, our 12 volts. And the green uh, goes to our tachometer line. It's already in the car. Already in the car. To the uh, tachometer. As I recall, we used two uh, before. Yeah, we used two magnets, and we've got three there. But yep. they're, they're all magnetized. Right. <laughs> and these magnets have paint on one side. And I'm told in the instructions, and I think they had this backwards last time, so we're gonna check it with the scope again. Yeah. So you put these magnets on here, about 180 out, and about on the path where we have our uh, pickup. Let's see if I've got that 180 out. It doesn't really need to be exact. The objective here is actually that the magnet pass under the pickup and then it happened twice, twice right. uh, per revolution. And I think that, that makes kind of a double pulse, a positive and negative pulse uh, as the magnet approaches and as it recedes each time. And for some reason that is red on the uh, tachometer uh, as four pulses. <laughs> right, I know, that because that is a four pulse tach. <laughs> and, uh, um, and so that will give us an accurate thing. So what we're gonna do, 